Philly. Paranoia 101. Out in Rome. Rome. I'm on a special mission. I'm gonna uh, show you guys exactly what that mission is. This is a reason, one of the reasons why I took this trip. Stay tuned. Yeah, this is the way to go. All right, that's the way to go on my mission. This fucking place. Everything in Rome is like a fucking million years old. It's beautiful though. Cities and ruins. Oh, caged in. This way. Take a fucking look at this view right here. What are they doing up there, those people? I don't think about this place is a lot of flies. It's annoying. Fucking flies piss me off. Holy oh, shit. What's that? Caesar's Palace? Everywhere you look is something crazy. Something inspiring, right? Look at that little statue. Love to have that in the office. So many ruins, it just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. So many castles, so much history. What's going on in there? I've been walking a lot. When you discover a new view, right there, the sun is setting beautifully. So I'm finishing the Colosseum video. I'm finishing it inside the Colosseum. How about that? How about that? Inside. To the inside, gotta get up to the top of this thing. Oh, the Colosseum looks beautiful. Look at that! So, I just finished my final video of the Colosseum. I came all the way out here to do it. Long story short, I got my hands on this piece and uh he was just using it for marketing so that's one last look at this magnificent building all right as we're getting out of here this is what the grounds look like this crazy arch right there for some emperor and an extraordinary piece of history so many stories I know. I know I said that was the last look, but this is really the last one. That's something, right? I don't know. Yes, sir. Oh, exactly. Just what I wanted. Perfect timing. <laughs> Caesar himself. Okay. A lot of life happening here. But you gotta keep your eyes open for the crooks. Crooks at any given point of time and space. Luckily for me, my trip continues. Alright, I got a couple of things that I gotta go see. So if you're having a good time looking at all this shit, I know I am. I'm uh, glad that you're coming along for the ride. Rome, you know, has a lot of secret stories. So it's a really live city that's been built and rebuilt and has so much history that every street corner's got its own whole story. Killing it out here in Rome, all these cars are small, little cars, and popped out with this joint right here, the range. The range boy. It has to be done, there is nothing else. Look at the car that it's parked behind us. Look at that car. <laughs> Big shit. So Big everything shit. kill me, hope you mean it. I just want to die for a reason. They probably never mess me till they...
come down to Italy over here. And we can hang out. How's that? <laughs> the street is like super narrow. A little pizza shop right here. Let's see if they're what this, you know, this could be a local pizza, could be bullshit. I don't know. Kush Papi, what are your thoughts? It's beautiful little streets. I love streets like this. It's a different part of Italy, but you know, this is where all the tourists go. By the Trebi Fountain. It's a madhouse over here. Madhouse. How many people doing pictures? Beautiful. I want to show my friends this evening's selection of water. <laughs> They'd be curious to see, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we're doing this now. There's the Coliseum I spent the whole day uh, running around in. This is bison meat. You see that? Look at that. Look at me, I'm a Euro boy. <laughs> I probably should have cut that into two pieces. But fuck it. When you're a Euro boy, you act like a Euro boy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, please. We have the pineapple, mango, and passion fruit sauce. What kind of sauce is this? Passion fruit and mango. Oh, passion fruit and mango. Yeah. 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 And what is this? This is fresh meringue. Right. That we put inside the liquid nitrogen, liquid and nitrogen. now it's frozen. Beautiful. Liquid nitrogen. And this is the result. Unbelievable. An incredible job. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Look at that. Would you believe it? Right in front of the Coliseum. Isn't that special? Sorry? Isn't it special to have that right yes, in front of the Coliseum? Yes, it is. This whole experience with the it's mist. Gold leaf, gold leaf. Oh, it's gold. A little bit of gold. What can I say? I can't say anything. All I can say is cool. You know what I'm saying? What a blessing. What can you do? Nothing. Oh, this is a little pretty, sir. A uh, pretty food for you. Thank you. Look at this little souffle. Yeah, that's a little vanilla ice cream in there. Sinking in there like the Titanic in front of the Coliseum. Call me crazy. Look at this park job. What a parking job I got. Fucking dreamboat. It's gonna be time for a little road trip in Italy. I think I like more than setting up for a road trip. You wanna get your playlist. You wanna get your wires, your chargers. I got this beautiful little Wi Fi. Beautiful Italian streets. We're gonna go see the Parthenon. And this is how you get to the Parthenon. You go down these nice, interesting looking little streets. Magnificent structure, the Parthenon. Literally, every single street corner is gonna look like that. Yeah. It's great, bro. Every street got some shit going on. Every street's got thousands of years of history. Every street, bro. Or something. Had to hit these steps. Look at this thing. Everywhere you look. The scene of wonder. Port 
city in Italy. A beautiful town. Take it. Just like the rest of Italy, different time periods on top of each other. You know, New York is only about 200 years old, the rest of America is even younger. This place has been inhabited for over 2,000 years, close to 3,000. Nice. Nice little church for you, Julia. Naples. See both is it's good. This building right here is the most unique building I have ever seen in my life. That shit looks like if iPhone was invented. 300 years ago, 500 years ago, this is where it would have been the headquarters of the shit. See how it can be full weather a little bit? Yeah. Having a little espresso before I uh, go to this event that I came all the way out here for somebody's birthday. All the way out here in Naples. Delicious espressos. I feel like a hero boy. No, I'm just... <laughs> this car up these Italian streets right here. It's insane. I'm gonna compile all these videos into one little log for YouTube at the end of this shit. Having a little James Bond evening. You know what I'm saying? Here in Europe, Naples. With these snobs. It's all a game. Don't ever forget that, kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a, a, an invisible deck of cards. Okay? Okay. Pick a card. Look it. Show everybody. Show the card. La mostri, ecco così. Adesso upside down card, la capovolga e la inserisca nel mazzo di carte. Okay. Adesso il mazzo di carte diventa visibile. Okay, visible deck. Two of the flowers, the only card upside down in this deck. Uh -huh. okay. Pick a card, don't look it, non la guardi, non la guardi, just un po' di suspense. Uh -huh. The only card upside down in this deck. Which card do you pick before? Tell me, tell your, che carta a capovolto qua? Due di quadri, deve essere l'unica carta girata qui dentro, vado piano, eh? La prima, la prima è il jolly. Due di quadri, that it's the two, two of flowers. Oh, sneaky. Thank you, thank you. Sneaky. There's my boy, 60 years old today. Is the candle gonna light? Sure, it's taking a long time. Hey! Our royal DJ game. Too much television. Watch Rigo Park's finest. I'm an out here in Italy. Money on, my mind. on my way to Pompeii. I'm going to be going through the ruins of Pompeii for the first time in my life. So I'm going to share the journey as I like to do once in a while. Um, this is pretty awesome as an experience because just look at this column. This was like some entryway to something. God knows what. I wish I knew what exactly it was. Maybe I'll look it up in a book. But just this column, the way they use different color bricks and different shapes to build something beautiful. The way they laid the bricks into the wall using their own mortar and things like that is pretty amazing. 
you know, it, it really speaks of a life that they had here in this amazing town. And then disaster came. Terrifying, terrible disaster. So these are some of the ruins that people used to live in. This was people's lives. I, I just, that's what I think about, you know, people actually live. But you gotta use your imagination to really see what's here. You know, you gotta see the completed structure. So I'm gonna be a little archaeologist because this is a nice room. I'm trying to use my imagination to, to see what it looked like back when it was something. But there's a piece of marble here that I get to do when we use our imagination. <laughs> I'm around and, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm gonna feel like I'm back in the Empire. And, building it crazy i know but that's what we so it's like a preserved little city if you want to use your imagination like i say and don't take imagine your hometown like preserved two thousand years later someone's walking through it through whatever walls are left but this was you know just not some any town it was a cute little town people loved coming out here It was nice on the coast, it was relatively safer. There's a tourist right there. Not bad, I'm in Pompeii right now, look at that. This gives you a glimpse of what the rooms look like when they were finished, not like these broken down walls, but there's some, some tile left over, but here it's almost perfectly preserved. Same tile, it's almost gone. You can't even recognize it. All right, but here, almost perfectly, this room was sealed to all weather and everything. And you could see the plaster on the wall were preserved. Even some of the paint on the wall was preserved. So it was perfect condition. The whole town was picture perfect. Everything plastered, not a crack. Mosaics everywhere, just beautiful. That's what it was. This is on some next level shit right here. I wasn't supposed to come back here, but I had no choice. It's too, too popping. Ruins. Let's take a seat for a couple of minutes here. Huh? Unbelievable. Look at this countryside. This is a world-famous, ridiculously high-definition mosaic right here. A masterpiece. Alexander the Great. About to kill Darius. Unbelievable. This is it. Town Square. Empire. And that's the volcano that did them in right there. Someone was asking what happened to him. That volcano erupted. Ready to take that road trip, Dimitri? Huh? Electric vehicle right here. For me to start sucking, bugging the fuck in that nigga like I was duck hunting. Telling out just me and my crew, cause all we wanna do is. Is you, is I, is you, ain't my baby. Is you, is I, is you, ain't my baby. Is you, is I, is you, ain't my baby. It don't take nothing but fuck for me to start sucking, bugging the fuck in that nigga like I was duck hunting. Where's Naples? That's not Naples anymore, right? Beautiful sunset, look at that. One of my last in this country. What an amazing place. 1949, this place has been popping off since. Look at it. It is busy tonight, holy shit. Out here, I wanna see what this looks like in the daytime. That's really what the fuck's going on. Um, I'm going to be tasting that, and it's time for my favorite part of the day. It's in 1987. 
Oh, my specialty here. Get that swirl in. Three, All right, go ahead. two, yes. one, go! This year, oh, the sea urchin is jumping out and is chasing us. Alright, the uni. I ordered too much food. I feel like a pig now. So I'm sorry. No, I want some of that. Actually, I ordered two main courses. Why did I do that? I'm sick, that's why. There's a wall of celebrities on this place, but there's one person in particular you gotta keep an eye on out, right? You know who that is? J Dog. It's my last breakfast in Italy. Not my last, but my last full day breakfast, and I'm having something special. Caviar. Well, you know, I'm familiar to caviar because I'm from Azerbaijan, uh, Baku, where the beluga fish is originally from. Love it. Did a little commercial. I just want to share this little experience. It's the end of the road. It was unforgettable and beautiful. The best of life. It's out there for everybody. Believe me. I've had this with my family one day, hopefully. My cousins in Azerbaijan. Hopefully, get to do that soon. Flying on um, Swiss Air from Zurich. What's up, Cooper? Hey, I appreciate you watching that video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of information to share with you guys. Coming straight from the Diamond District in New York City directly to work.